So in this problem, we're told an electric clothes dryer has a heating element with a resistance of 8.6 ohms. A, what is the current in the element when it is connected to 240 volts? B, how much charge passes through the element in 50 minutes? Assume direct current. So the first thing you always want to do is write down what we're given. So we know the resistance of our right, heating element, which is going to be 8.6 ohms. We know it's connected to 240 volts. And then for part B, we're trying to find um, how much charge passes through the current in 50 minutes. So they give us a change in time, right? So 50 minutes. So let's go ahead and start off with A. So for A, they're asking us to find uh, the current in the element. So whenever they say find current, I know we're probably going to be using Ohm's law, which is V equals IR. So the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. And so if I'm solving for current, I can divide by the resistance. And so as long as we have voltage and resistance, which we're given, we can just solve for the current. So I equals, and then we have it in standard units here, we have ohms and then volts. So the voltage is 240, and then 8.6 is the resistance. This is ohms, this is volts. So you do 240, and then divide by 8.6. And so you're going to get 27.9. 27.906, so I'm just going to round it to 27.9, and so keep in mind, since we're using standard, it's just amps. So 27.9 amps, that's A, now let's do B. So for B, we're trying to find how much charge passes through the element in 50 minutes, so um, we're finding charge. So we need to find charge, but we know the current, so what I'm going to use here is, whenever basically they tell you to find current, you're probably going to be using this formula right here, which is current equals the change in charge over change in time, right? So as long as you have the change in time, which they give us how long, 50 minutes, and we have the current, which we found in step A, we can find how much charge, right? How much charge is passing through. So all we have to do is basically just multiply both sides by delta T. That'll cancel, and then, uh, yeah, so you're gonna have basically delta Q equals I delta T. So what is our current? We found it in the last problem. 27.906, I'm going to use the more exact value, and then multiply by delta T. So but keep in mind we're in amps here. So what are amps? Amps are coulombs per second. So this needs to be in seconds. It can't be in minutes when we plug it in. To convert from minutes to seconds, all you got to do is multiply by 60 because there's 50 seconds for every minute. So I'm not going to show you how to do that, but 50 and then just multiply by 60. So that's where these come from. So now it's in seconds, which will work. So 27.906 times 50 times 60. And so you're going to get delta Q equals 83718. I'm just going to round to uh, 8400, let's say. Or sorry, 84,000. So 84,000 and then it's in coulombs. So yeah, you can round however you want. Um, but yeah, so we're looking at about yeah, 84,000 coulombs, round however you want. You can round it to 8.4 times 10 to the 4. Yeah. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.